And again, one of the big issues that impacts nearly every election, immigration. I was able to sit down with a young community activist as she tries to fix some of these issues. At just 12 years old, Emily Hernandez took center stage becoming a voice for those fearing deportation or family separation. I know it's my passion to speak up for my community, for my dad, for many other families. And says finding a path to do just that was in pageantry, competing for the first time in 2018 in Miss Teen El Salvador. Right when I got into Miss El Salvador was when the Trump administration ended TPS for my dad and for many other TPS holders in the country. I decided to use my voice as an immigrant activist. I would have to say every single family that had children with TPS was worried. Temporary protected status or TPS offers temporary protection from deportation. The bad administration recently renewed TPS eligibility for thousands of immigrants from Haiti, Honduras, Nepal, and El Salvador, just to name a few. This is according to the Pew Research Center. Emily says her family is the reason why she became an activist for immigrants' rights. Living in a mixed status family is very hard. Um, I have a brother who has DACA, my dad who has TPS. A mom dad currently doesn't have a status, so I'm the only uh, U.S. born immigrant citizen in my family. Her father, Donnie Hernandez, standing proud by her side. I feel privileged. I feel very happy that she participates in what she is standing up for till this day. He says Emily has found a way to make sure the family feels comfortable as she continues in the immigration debate. I believe that her being in pageants, she has found a way for her voice to be heard and influence others to do the same. Donis tells me Emily has always been fierce, an adventurer, part of that adventure leading her to the White House to join a march in 2018. In one of the marches, I spoke in front of 4,000 people. When I came back, one of the teachers had shown the whole classroom me speaking in front of everybody. One of the people being New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Since then, Emily says the journey hasn't stopped. This all happened when I was 12 years old, I'm 19, and we're still in the fight, and we're still not giving up. A fight, a daughter and father walking together every step of the way. For Hispanic Heritage Month, just knowing that your voice is very powerful to use your voice, it's never too late to use your voice. That's right, Emily tells me she is now preparing to compete in Nuestra Belleza Teen USA, where she will continue speaking up about TPS. She currently attends UNLV, where she is majoring in political science. Schools, cities, and the county are all celebrating Hispanic heritage. Henry Takai takes us to Marion Earl Elementary in Spring Valley, where staff understand the assignment. All throughout the school, the students are learning all about Hispanic Heritage Month. About a quarter of our students um, are of Hispanic heritage. Hey, you guys ready to play? How about you be going now and we'll switch you later. Soccer has a lot of roots uh, in the South American culture and then other Hispanic cultures. It's important to show kids that like, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm really passionate about soccer and we have a lot of kids that are. Physical activity in soccer is important for, for for me and I hope for the kids because it really kind of shaped my life. They like turn 18, I want to win a World Cup for my heritage, Mexico. They like almost traded like the whole entire football history. Nice pass. Oh, what a save, play. Oh, go! Who do you think that one will be? We do have books that represent all the diverse groups of Hispanic Americans. Um, we have Cuban folk tales, we have biographies, we have the Lionel Messi book is so popular. Las Hermanitas. We are interacting, talking, and playing games as you can see, and doing fun things. The more diverse books that we have in our collection, the more kids want to read. It's time. It is fiesta. Who can remember where this song is from? Where is it from? It's from Brazil. And this month is Hispanic Month. There's a lot of countries that have Hispanic origins. They speak Spanish, and so Brazil is one of them. We want them to not only learn about the culture, but also be immersed in it, doing different activities. So in PE today, we saw them learning football or soccer, um, and not just the sport, but where did the sport originate from? Um, our librarian reading books to the students that highlight that heritage.
Look at you, Los. How sweet. We're not done dancing yet. There are about half a dozen Latin radio stations broadcasting in Las Vegas. So grab your dancing shoes. Coming up, I'll take you to one where it's always a fiesta and how it has remained a top radio station for years. Finley Automotive began with one dealership in 1961. Today we have 18 locations across the Vegas Valley. We have more cars, trucks, and SUVs than any other dealer group in Nevada. No matter where you are in the Valley, you're never far from Finley. Understand the responsibility of community rent. Everybody has an obligation to pay that community rent, figuring out what it is and sticking with it. Crystal Ray is my community rent. And understanding at the same time, as you grow, you have to take people with you. And that's what this school is about, you know, being Latino. It's about making sure our Latino community here, but not only our Latino families, but also our black families and our AAPI families, is understanding that we grow stronger as a community if we help each other. Thank you, Cox Communications. We just made a power move to save energy and money with the new thermostat. It's a new smart thermostat. He installed it for free. It makes saving energy easier. Super easy. It's part of the PowerShift bundle deployment from NV Energy. This little bundle approves. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make a power move by saving energy your way at nvenergy.com slash PowerShift. When the response is overwhelming, when every word can lead to a lifetime of financial success, when hard work pays off for the leaders of tomorrow. At Silver State Schools Credit Union, we help you celebrate life's little moments and guide you through the big ones. By prioritizing people over profit, we support our community and give back in meaningful ways. Silver State Schools Credit Union, your financial partner for life. Prepare for the biggest furniture sale of the year. Walker's Remodel has ramped up. We need the room. You get the savings. 40 to 50% off everything. Yes, everything. Plus, take an extra jaw-dropping 20% off. Save $500 on the six-piece bedroom. Now, $688. Need another reason to shop? How about a discount equal to the sales tax or 60-month special financing? Walker's Remodeling Sale. Hurry in. Limited time only. I'd rather sell it than move it because I can. Finley Automotive began with one dealership in 1961. Today we have 18 locations across the Vegas Valley. We have more cars, trucks, and SUVs than any other dealer group in Nevada. No matter where you are in the Valley, you're never far from Finley. ¿Quién está listo para bailar? Who is ready to dance? A Spanish language radio station is making waves in the valley, representing the Hispanic people in the area. I was able to speak to the men behind it and talk about their journey building Fiesta 98.1 from the ground up. Inside Boulevard Mall, tucked away in this mercado, there's a fiesta going on almost every single day. Buenas tardes, Las Vegas! Oiga, el tiro, porque tenemos boletos para todos los conciertos en el stream. Fiesta 98.1! ¡Súbale, macizo! Everyone knows the word fiesta, so it's an easy name. And we're in Las Vegas, so. No, there's nothing better than this than Fiesta, right? <laughs> Fiesta 98.1, Las Vegas co-owner and radio personality Rogelio Regalado Rodriguez El Torito says the station provides a space for the Hispanic community. Boulevard Mall has been one of the first malls in Vegas, actually, and um, the most Hispanic one. Located at Desert Inn in Maryland, the property is home to El Mercado, or the marketplace. It's a spot to enjoy culture from around the world with various artisan shops and restaurants. Hispanic community in Vegas is 30% of the city, of the, of the market. So 70% of that is regional Mexican or Mexican. So we wanted something that can be recognized between, you know, the Hispanic. From having zero listeners to about 100,000 in almost three years, Regalado Rodriguez says other than just playing regional Mexican music, the station also focuses on giving back and providing hyper-local content. That's our bread and butter, actually, to be um, focused on the local community, giving on the air local stories what's going on in their neighborhoods. Starting the station with nothing, Regalado Rodriguez tells me he and his business partner, Rafael Cerros, are now the only Hispanic men that own a radio station in the Valley. When I was 
what, like 17, one of the owners of the station told me, hey, you want to play the music that you really want? Get your own station. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Being the, uh, w the only station that's Hispanic and locally owned, that's, a, that's pride for us. Cerro says he never imagined owning a radio station, but when an opportunity arose, he took it. I know what people like. Um, you know, I'm uh, a part of the community and, you know, that's our roots, that's my people. And hopes others in the area will observe Hispanic Heritage Month by celebrating and learning about the culture. Us being from the community and being Hispanic, I mean, it, I think it, it, we're, we're that vessel and that voice. For me, it's like an opportunity for other cultures to know about uh, you know, uh, our countries. Both men believe the station will continue to be that voice, representing culture and unity in the Valley for years to come. The more we celebrate and the more we show other um, people or culture, I mean, for me it's an opportunity to, to have a party, have a fiesta. <laughs> Música makes me want to bailar to dance.